All right, so the 6.5 Grendel, the 6mm Arc, and the 224 Valkyrie. What are they, and what are they good for? So that's what I want to talk about in this video. So all three of these cartridges have one big thing in common. All three of these cartridges were designed to increase the effective range and energy on target of your standard AR platform. And all three of these cartridges have that in spades. Um, they all do exactly what they're supposed to do. But I think there's a big misconception on what you're getting through some people uh, when you get into one of these cartridges. So that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, what are these cartridges? What are they actually good for? What are their capabilities? Um, and what which one of these would you might want to choose depending on what your purpose is for your increased range or energy of your AR platform. So all three of these cartridges, like I said, fit in a standard AR platform. So an AR platform is essentially a miniature action. So if you are to get in, look at the how a mini actions, those actions are built around this size of cartridge. So they are built to accommodate this smaller cartridge in a bolt action. Um, so all three of these, a, an AR, a standard AR is a miniature action. So a miniature action um, is much smaller than even your standard short action. So a 308, 6.5 Creed, more those cartridges that are short action cartridges, they have a larger bolt diameter and head diameter, um, as well as the case itself is longer. So physics will tell you with more case capacity, larger cases, you're going to get more velocity, more energy out of your standard short action cartridges over even these miniature actions. Um, but one of the awesome things about these miniature actions is they actually do outperform in some ways even some of your standard short action cartridges. So take the 308 for example, a prolific cartridge, been around forever. Uh, the 308 actually in its trajectory, so at distance, the 308 is actually outperformed by the 224 Valkyrie and the 6mm arc, with the 6.5 Grendel absolutely nipping at its heels uh, in its trajectory out at distance. So the, it's kind of amazing what they've been able to do uh, with the creation of these cartridges that are much smaller but still have the ability to perform in some ways like those bigger cartridges. Now energy on target with 308, total different story at almost every range that 308 because of the larger bullet size is going to have more energy on target so that's where the 6.5 Grendel the 6.5 Grendel being the largest bullet diameter of all three of these cartridges the 6.5 Grendel typically is going to deliver more energy on target so if I was gonna pick one of these cartridges to go hunting with I'm gonna pick the 6.5 Grendel as a matter of fact the my 6.5 Grendel upper was the was the rifle that I carried through the woods a lot this year when I wasn't laying in the field uh, looking to hunt at longer ranges. So, but that's another thing is I would not really hunt at long range with any of these cartridges. I don't think much beyond 100 yards or maybe even out to 400 yards at the extreme most, any of these cartridges carry enough energy uh, for me to feel comfortable hunting a deer uh, with any of these cartridges. But if I was going to be hunting in most conditions in wooded areas, I think all three of these cartridges would be capable of taking a deer with 6.5 Grendel being the absolute most capable with 6mm arc being right in between it and the 224 Valkyrie. And the 224 Valkyrie, because it has a significantly smaller bullet, is the least capable of all three of these in hunting something like deer. Now if I was going to be hunting in like a dog town, uh, hunting prairie dogs or something like that, I'm probably going to go with the 224 Valkyrie. The 224 Valkyrie, um, even though it's had its growing pains, I just did a video the other day talking about the 224 Valkyrie, and then that video was called What Happened to the 224 Valkyrie. Um, and I think there was a lot of misconceptions about that video. I think a lot of people misunderstood what I was actually getting at. So I was saying, trying to explain all the growing pains that, yes, the 224 Valkyrie has went through, but there have also been many fixes for those growing pains and ways to that if I think if most people understood uh, the things that they could do to increase the the uh, accuracy and consistency of their 224 Valkyrie they would all do it uh, and 
be much happier with their 224 Valkyrie cartridge. So that's what I was trying to get at with that video. I don't really think the 224 Valkyrie is a dead cartridge, but if I was going to go out and lay out at 600 yards and shoot prairie dogs all day, 224 Valkyrie with 80 grain ELDs or something like that is going to be what I'm going to take. Um, I've had really good performance, really good consistency, and it has the flattest trajectory of all three of these, with the 6mm art kind of being the balancing point of the two. So the 6.5 Grendel, I've shot all three of these out to some pretty far ranges. I think I've shot the 6.5 Grendel out to just over 1,500 yards. Um, I've shot the 6mm Arc just the other day. I did the video 1,776 yards, so just over a mile. And I've shot just over 1,800 yards with the 224 Valkyrie. Um, all three of these cartridges are capable of those longer ranges. But all three of these cartridges are lacking in comparison to like my 6.5 Creedmoor or my 6mm Creedmoor. My 6mm Creedmoor is much flatter than all three of these cartridges combined. So uh, you just have to know what you're getting. So yes, I was able to get two of these out to a mile, but that's a lot of elevation to get them out there. With the 224 Valkyrie not really being too bad, I think it was a hundred, just somewhere around 105 minutes of angle to get out to a mile with the 224 Valkyrie, whereas we had 115 with the 6 Arc. So they're fairly flat shooting, uh, but nothing compared to your standard short action cartridge. Um, so when it comes to hunting, like I said, the 6.5 Grendel would be my pick. Uh, when it comes to long range, uh, over overall both, I think the 6mm the arc would be the way to go if you're looking for something that you can hunt with as well as shoot out to those extended distances. Just knowing that you're not going to be able to get out to the distances uh, like you would be with even a 6.5 Creedmoor or 6mm Creedmoor or something like that, um, then the 6mm arc is the way to go. Um, and then if you are just worried about long range target shooting, the 224 Valkyrie is by far the flattest shooting. And if you can get a good load worked up that stays consistent, I recommend the smaller 80 grain air, or that realm of projectiles. Um, the 224 Valkyrie is going to be your flattest shooting cartridge out of all three of these. So that's what I want to talk about in this video is what are these cartridges? What are they good for? Um, I had somebody comment on one of my videos, one of my six, I think it was the six millimeter arc and six five Grindel comparison video where we compare the trajectory, energy, and those things of these cartridges. Um, I had somebody comment on one of those videos saying that the six five Grindel and the six millimeter arc were big game cartridges. Um, please don't let anybody ever tell you that. I don't know if the guy was trolling me or not, but I will say that I don't by any means believe that. Um, none of these cartridges would be something that I would recommend taking on a big game hunt. Big game, elk, moose, bear, those things. You want a cartridge that has velocity, energy, and is really going to perform. And these cartridges are not those cartridges. But if you're wanting to hunt deer, these cartridges will will put down a deer and do it ethically and cleanly. Um, if you are wanting to shoot long range, if you're just wanting to target shoot at distance, all three of these cartridges will increase your effective range of your standard AR platform. So that's what these cartridges are. They are not short action cartridges. They are not meant for ELR or even competition long range shooting, but they are a heck of a lot of fun. They do fit in a standard AR platform and they all three increase the range and energy of your standard AR platform. With there, like I said, there's many other ones. There's the 22 Nosler, the 224 Grendel, all those cartridges that uh, haven't had as much aftermarket or had had as much uh, industry support. And I think that's why these three are the ones that actually made it to being your your well known of the three. Um, with I would say the 22 Nosler being a close fourth, but uh, I think it has, because of all the growing pains that it had early and everybody's at short attention spans these days, the same thing with the 224 Valkyrie. So why so many people think the 224 Valkyrie is dead. Um, everybody has such a short attention span, wasn't willing to go through the growing pains like the 6.5 Grendel when it was first introduced, had quite a few growing pains. Um, but it has developed into this what it is today, which is a fantastic cartridge that does exactly what it's supposed to do. So that's what I wanted to talk about. I hope if any of you guys are looking to get into any of these three cartridges, um, 
just know what you're getting into. Don't let somebody tell you that you're going to be able to buy one of these cartridges and go out and compete with somebody even shooting a 6.5 Creedmoor because it's just not got, there's not enough case capacity to get any of these cartridges to those velocities to compete with that type of cartridge. But what they do do is definitely increase the range and capability of your AR platform and they all do that in spades. So, hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.